Hello, you guys. It is me and him, and we are going to run into a quick Costco grocery haul. It is like the end ish of the month. It's past mid, but not to the very, very end. We're like at the 22nd here. Um, anyway, we are just now doing our Costco grocery haul, and um, we were actually, I have been out all day with the kids doing a field trip. We went to pick strawberries. That video may have already posted by now, or it may be coming up, probably coming up. Um, but I feel like I'm stinky and my hair, oh. you know how, listen, this is what happens when you're a girl. As long as it's, it's not smell a vision No. <laughs> Here's what happens. When you have a lot of hair and you're outside all day picking strawberries or doing whatever you're doing and you get sweaty and whatnot Flat your hair kind of smells like dirty dog you know what i'm talking about no the smell kids my smell hair like... okay i smell like a kid that's been Ooh, outside no. playing i smell like a kid that's been you're outside a big playing. kid yeah outside playing <laughs> anyway so go. i feel stinky and dirty and whatever but we're good we're gonna run in they close in an hour and 15 minutes we're good he went he went to sam's and he's like just grocery shop here no i don't want to do that we're going to Costco. Now. I gotta go to Costco. Here. He had to get stuff at Sam's. So here we are. We're gonna go into Costco and I'm gonna also try to film some of the deals while I'm in here, okay? All right. He's going to get me out of my car. All right, let's go in. Nothing like you and me together And your eyes have been so hard to
rushing through my body I know that it is here to stay It's like you're my personal Illuminati I know that some might say that I am just a bad girl But if you treat me right I will be the best girl in this whole world No, I'm not gonna fight I got my hands on your body So tell me, tell me what you want me to do I can be good or be naughty pressure machine that hooks up to your phone and let me tell you I just had our cars cleaned two days ago I know I told them I know I just had our cars cleaned two days ago and it rained and it was like all over the windows All right, you guys, we are back and we spent $616.82. My goal was to keep it under $700 and we did that, so I'm so happy. You're gonna notice I don't have a lot of dairy. I didn't buy eggs, I didn't buy milk, and I also didn't buy fruits. 
I did buy some vegetables, but no fruits. And that's because I have been going to Sprouts pretty regularly to get a lot of our fresh produce. Things like apples and blueberries, um, strawberries, they can go bad quicker, especially strawberries and blueberries. They can go bad a little quicker. And so I've really enjoyed just running to Sprouts every, you know, like once, sometimes twice a week to get fresh apples, fresh strawberries, fresh blueberries, raspberries, what have you. And then I've always got to get more milk anyway and eggs. And so it's just been really convenient. That's not saying I love the produce that's at Costco. Um, I do, but I'm really enjoying the convenience of getting my fruits at um, Sprouts. And the produce that I did buy, which you're going to see, it's like cauliflower, squash, broccoli. Those are things that they'll sit, if, if they are in the fridge for two weeks, they're not going to go bad. They're fine. Um, but also today, I told you that we went to that strawberry farm and I have seven pounds of strawberries. So I definitely didn't need strawberries right now. Anyway, that's coming in another video. So let me show you what we got real quick. I'm really happy with how much we spent. Um, and I'll explain what we're going to do with all of them, with all the things that we bought and why we bought what we bought. Okay, let me give you a quick look. And then once that quick look is done, if you don't want to hear me talk, you're good to go. Um, you know what we bought and you know how much we spent. If you want to hear all the nitty gritty details, stay tuned because after I give you the quick look, I will go item by item and talk about it. All right, let's take a quick look. Let me walk you through this item by item. I didn't realize that the big thing of puppy food was just sitting on the table waiting to be put in a chair. Okay, so as I told you, milk and eggs, I didn't need them because I just was at Sprouts the other day and got milk and eggs and I'm good for now. And it's convenient to just run back over there as needed. I still have not bought a garage fridge and having a garage fridge will allow me to buy a bunch in bulk and not have to make constant trips, right? Because we'll have room for that. So, um, I did buy this. This is not a typical buy, and I hate that I'm starting off with this because I don't want it to set the tone for what I bought, but I did get this because one of my kids has a birthday this weekend, and um, I'm going to make him a strawberry shortcake sheet cake for his birthday using a bunch of the strawberries that we picked, and then I will need some heavy whipping cream to go with that, and then I bought this heavy whipping cream that I may also make some um, homemade heavy whipping cream, and then use this to kind of on the top of each individual plate. Does that make sense? So like this, I'll turn it into heavy whipping cream um, that's kind of like Cool Whip that will go over the cake and then the strawberries on top. And then each individual um, plate can kind of have some of the extra on top. I hope that makes sense. Okay. And then I did grab some mayo. We had bought a big thing of Hellman's and... Um, we only got about halfway through it before it expired. And so this time it was really, really, really big. And so this time I didn't want to buy a thing of mayonnaise that was that large. So I just bought this one and it was on sale. And I like that it is the avocado oil. I love this Chosen Foods brand. This is avocado oil mayonnaise and it is a smaller size and we have until September to use it. So this is totally doable. Totally doable. All right. Then I bought this. They, this is the first time I've seen this three-pack at Costco. And this is a three-pack with asparagus, fresh green beans, and Brussels. Um, and the Brussels are already cut and sliced. So that will be, those will be great for a couple of different sheet pan um, sides. That will be perfect. And then I got a bag of cauliflower and a bag of broccoli. We do sheet pan vegetables all the time. Plus, I still have in the fridge, I've still got like some peppers, some carrots. Um, what else do I have? I've got celery. Um, I'm, it's escaping me, but I've got enough vegetables to do different sides as well as, um, to do different sides as well as like sheet pan sides. So I did also grab this zucchini this way. Uh, Sprouts has a smaller version of bagged organic squash. 
but you don't get as many and, and the price is the same. So this is a really good price. It's organic, I get more, and we go through those. I mean, we will use zucchini as a noodle and then we will also use it for sheet, veg, sheet pan veggies or sometimes for a side for dinner, I will just take mushrooms and a squash or two and dice it all up and salt and pepper and just cook it in a saute it in a pan a skillet on the stove. My kids like it all the ways. So those are vegetables that will get used up. And these are all vegetables that I don't have to use in the next week, right? Okay. I did grab this thing of tuna. I think it was on sale. This is my favorite tuna. I like to have it on hand to make tuna casserole for the kids, tuna patties, or just tuna sandwiches. So there's that. All right. I did buy the almond flour and the regular uncooked flour tortillas. We love these, they freeze well. These make great quesadillas, great for tacos, um, great for burritos, all the things. So I have both of these, I'll freeze. Um, this is two separate packages in here. I will freeze one package and put the other one in the fridge. And then these are easy to just pull out um, out of the freezer. I'll, they actually, if I'm not mistaken, Oh, these are only good till May. So I will probably put them in the fridge and then as it gets closer to May, then I will throw them in the freezer. Dave's Killer Bread, we've been eating a lot of this. We get it at Sprouts or we like what they have at Costco too. I really like the one, well, I haven't been eating it, but the kids like the one that is the white bread, but it's the Dave's Killer White Bread and it's got like a powdery residue on the outside. That doesn't sound appealing, but it is. The kids like to make their grilled cheese sandwiches with that or peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, but Costco doesn't have that one. They only have the ones with seeds. So we like to get the thin sliced one and they can make their sandwiches with these. And I mean, they'll have toast. Luke Henry likes avocado toast. Jack likes to use these for grilled cheeses, all the things. So it's good. Um, we've not had any complaints. We've been working through that and just making subtle changes for the kids um, and it hasn't been painful at all. So, all right, I did get this two pack of ground turkey. This is $19.99 for a two pack. I believe you get three pounds total. Yeah, each pack is a, is a pound and a half. This is more expensive than what you're gonna buy at Sam's, um, the Tyson brand, which I think you get five pounds worth and it's like $13. But still, this is really great quality and I really like it. Butter, I'll keep one out and then freeze the rest of it. They freeze really well. And then I just take them out of the freezer as needed. Um, potatoes, we will do those in, I like to do potatoes in the slow cooker. Um, just take the whole potato and put them in there and let them slow cook all day long and then serve it as a side, loaded baked potatoes. Um, or we could do baked potato soup or, um, you know, cut it up. I hate to say this, but you can cut them up and fry them. My kids do like them that way or use them for mashed potatoes. That's a 10 pound bag and I can get a couple of dinners out of that. And then I did grab, and I did it this way because the price is better at Costco for those potatoes and it's just convenient. A big 10 pound bag opposed to buying such a small bag at, at Sprouts that I'm gonna have to have multiple bags for my family, right? Just for one dinner. All right. Um, and it's cheaper to do it this way at Costco. I did grab these sweet potatoes. I have bought sweet potatoes at walmart.com and at Sprouts, but this is the cheapest way to buy them, and we love sweet potatoes. I like to make a soup with them that is sweet potatoes and apple that tastes like butternut squash soup, or I will take a whole bunch of them and let them cook in the slow cooker all day, and we will have sweet potatoes as a side with dinner. All right, I did grab this rotisserie chicken. I'm gonna debone it and have some fresh chicken or some cooked chicken diced, sliced, whatever, shredded chicken on hand. Um, and actually, I'm gonna put some in a salad tonight. I'm fixing to make myself a salad for dinner, which will have, the salad will have some fresh strawberries, some blueberries, spinach, some shallots, um, balsamic, olive oil, some chicken, and some, some spices and seasonings. It's really good. A friend of ours taught us how to make it. It's really, really delicious and very easy. All right, I did grab three packs of chicken here, and I've told you guys before why I love these chickens from Costco. It's You've got one, two, three, and then one, two, three more. These are the drumsticks, and they've got like four drums in each of the packs. So um, four, 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 
four times six. Um, and my kids really like chicken legs. They don't want them every night, but they are so inexpensive. They're 99 cents. We grill them. We bake them. We do all kinds of things with them. Just use your favorite seasoning on them. We like to use, there's a couple of different Kinders that, uh, brand seasonings that we like. Or cook them in barbecue sauce. Or the other night I did a balsamic uh, vinaigrette marinade. Pick your favorite marinade. They're super delicious. And I can freeze the whole thing and then just cut out what I want to defrost. Does that make sense? So I grabbed the drumsticks. Um, so 99 cents a pound. This is nine pounds. I paid $9 for it. And then I grabbed a thing of boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Same situation. These have about three thighs in them. You're gonna pay more for boneless, skinless. Keep that in mind. These were $3.49 a pound, and this is seven and a half pounds worth here. And um, I like to bake these. We like to grill them on the Blackstone or on the traditional, the Traeger. Um, sometimes I will even cook them in a skillet. We, we really, my kids are good with chicken. Now, Lenny and I have not been eating as much meat. We are eating a lot of vegetables and fruits. Um, but I mean, we're, we will have some chicken. I'm just trying really hard. I do really, really well. And then sometimes I go through a day or two of not doing so great. Um, but we're working really hard to cut out sugars and to eat a lot of like a Mediterranean style diet, um, with low glycemic, um, things as well. So we can have strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, things like that. Um, we're doing good. I mean, it's, it's a, it's a process, right? Um, but we'll keep you updated on how it's going. I'm really happy with the results and I just want my body to feel better and I want to stop feeling so tired and, um, all of that. So I also grabbed breasts. This is, these were $2.99 a pound. This is eight pounds. So it was $24. Again, you get three and then three more on the back. And each one of these typically has about two breasts in them. So I can freeze the whole thing and then just cut out the pack that I want. I'll usually I'll do, you know, like two packs, um, so that we'll have four breasts. And you guys have seen how we cook that stuff. Um, again, on the grill, in the oven, in a skillet, what have you. Okay. Um, we are down to the end of our jasmine rice. And so I went ahead and grabbed this 25 pound bag of jasmine rice. This was like 17 bucks. And let me just show you. So when I do, when, so I ran out of what I had in my big five gallon bucket and <clears throat> I hadn't made it to Costco yet. So I had to buy some jasmine rice at Sprouts. This was like $16, $17 for 64 ounces for four pounds, <laughs> 25 pounds for the same price. Now this is organic and this is not. This is at a small farmer's market style grocery store. This is at a bulk warehouse store. So your prices are gonna be different, but um, it definitely is more budget friendly to buy in bulk, especially in this situation. Now I know it's not an apples to apples comparison because this is organic, but still, you get the idea. Like, it's so much more budget friendly to buy in bulk. Okay. Um, we are running low on canned refried beans. So I grabbed some of these and uh, we will do nachos, we will do burritos, we will do, um, you know, have it as a side with our tacos. My kids really like refried beans. So grabbed that. I still have some black beans, so I didn't need to get any of those. This wolf brand chili, this is not something that we will be eating. Lenny bought this to use on his food truck. Um, so you can pretend that that's not even there because I mean, I'm pretty sure he's going to use all of that on his food truck. And it's really not something my kids aren't like, yes, canned chili, you know, and I'm not a big fan either. So um, anyway, there's that. All right. I did get a bag of, um, what is that? That is beef jerky. And uh, I have a kid that that's the kind of snack or treat that he would prefer to have. And so that'll be his and he can eat on it over the next few weeks, refrigerate it after you open it. Um, and then in the back, we've got honey bunches of oats. So we did a video where we kind of, oh geez, I'm so sorry. I'm resting my elbow on this rice and it's just like, it keeps <laughs> going in. Um, 
we did a bunch of comparisons a few months back with all the cereals. You know, cereal is such an easy breakfast option when we don't want to make bacon and eggs or, you know, egg, omelet, whatever. Um, cereal is such an easy thing to grab for and the kids can make that, the little kids can make that for themselves. Um, but so many of them, like we went through this whole thing of like lining up all the cereals and which ones are not terrible for you. And really they all have a lot of sugar in them, but as we compared them all and somebody left a comment and said, not all carbs are bad. That's what we're looking at were the carbs. And, and you're right. Not all carbs are bad. I agree. But, um, we just know that we have, we've got to cut out as much sugar as possible. So, um, we have been buying, like we've kind of been alternating between honey bunches of oats and honey nut Cheerios. And, you know, while they would love Reese's peanut butter puffs or Captain Crunch or Lucky Charms or whatever, this is what we're buying. And some months I don't even buy any, but this is all that they've got. Like once this is gone, it's gone. And it's sometimes when you buy the really sugary cereal, it's like everybody wants to eat two, three bowls. You can't, we, we can't be doing that. We cannot do that. Great thing to have on hand to make an easy breakfast. I mean, there are seven of us in our house. Um, so a box of cereal like this, well, I'm not going to be eating it and Lenny shouldn't be eating it. But for five kids, this is not going to last very long, right? This is not going to last a month. Um, but when it's gone, it's gone. That's my point. Whether I'm buying honey bunches of oats or honey nut Cheerios. So, all right, I'm going to get off my soapbox because I think some of the cereal conversations, you know, they could go on forever. All right. I also bought this Kodiak um, Power Cakes. These are really great. So it makes pancakes or waffles and I will make a whole bunch. So when you open that up, I believe there's four packs in there. No, it's, is it three? Contains three 24 ounce packs. So um, you can make them more protein packed. They give you thing ideas on the back, like make it with milk to make it more protein packed, make it with this, whatever, egg. Um, I just make them with just water in the mix, but I will make a whole bunch up and then put them in a big nine by 13 and put foil on it or a lid on it. And then, so I'll make a bunch up one day. And then that way for a couple of days, two or three days, the kids can just pull some out and heat them up for themselves. Something else I do for breakfast. Sorry, I didn't realize I'm like filming the window instead of a huh, long day. Um, something else I will do for breakfast is boil up a bunch of eggs. I will do it in the instant pot or just on the stove top. And I love boiled eggs for breakfast. They're easy to grab. Grab two eggs, some produce or some uh, strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, and that's enough for breakfast. You should be good to go. All right. Um, that is the majority. I think that's all the food. We were out of dog food for multiple. So we've got four dogs and I was about to say we have four dogs still at home. None of them have moved out. Um, <laughs> we have four dogs, a senior dog, and then, and that's a boy dog. And then two girl dogs that are, um, like nine and three. And then we have a new puppy, um, that's a little chihuahua. So we still need puppy food. And then, so that's, that's for the little chihuahua puppy. And then that other, um, uh, dog food that I showed you earlier, that is for our two girl dogs. And this is a new brand that I haven't seen before that Costco is carrying this nature or Nutra nugget. It got busted in the car. Um, so I've got it upside down, but I'm interested to see how much they like this. And I don't think that it's grain free. I don't buy grain free dog food, but they did not have their traditional option for my girl dogs. So I don't know. And then McCoy eats the healthy weight, um, dog food. And sometimes he'll eat some of the other, but, um, we try to always keep him on the healthy weight one just because we got to keep his weight in check. All right. So two dog foods, uh, paper plates. These are so much cheaper at Costco than they are at Sam's. They carry different brands, but the same amount at Costco is 19 dollars 
and the same amount at Sam's is like 24 bucks. That's a pretty big difference. And I'm a little shocked that Sam's is that high. All right, we, were, we are to the end of our Q-tips. So here are Q-tips. These will last our big family a while, probably a year. Toilet paper, we are down to the last few rolls. So we needed some toilet paper. My favorite, favorite detergent, which is the Tide Powder, is not on sale, and I will not buy it if it's not on sale, because when it's not on sale, it's like $29.99, and I'm not paying that whenever I know I can get it for $23. Bucks. So um, there were three that were on sale, and I said, Lenny, which one do you want? <laughs> and this one was $15, bucks, and so here we go. We still have some pods left. I bought the Kirkland brand pods um, like two months ago and we still have, or maybe last month, we still have about a fourth of the bag left, but I know it's not enough to last us until our next Costco haul. So there's that. I had stocked up on OxyClean's on sale right now too, guys, if you need OxyClean. I didn't need any, so I didn't buy any. Um, but what was I going to say? Um, oh my goodness. I was going to say something really important and I don't remember what it was. Anyway, Oh, I had stocked up a bunch on OxyClean and my powder Tide, and I went through it all. Like, we didn't go to Costco for probably two and a half, three months, and then, I guess it was about two months, and then we were just kind of like using up our stockpile of what we had. We don't have a big stockpile, but you know what I mean. Like, you accumulate when you buy things that are on sale, um, and we went through all of that tide. And then the next time it was on sale, I missed the sale. And so these last two times I've had to buy a detergent that is not my favorite, or it's not that it's not my favorite, but I love the powdered tide. I like the price and I like the way it cleans. So there's that. All right. Yes, we do still have our Berkey and we absolutely love our Berkey, but sometimes it is really convenient to have bottled water. Um, like, I'm talking about when we have people coming over and things like that. Sometimes it can be easier to just hand people a bottle of water. So I haven't been buying as much bottled water, but since one of our kids has a birthday this weekend, I went ahead and bought the bottled water. But I love my Berkey, so it ain't going nowhere. All right, um, I am needing a couple of things. So I'm not being a very good camera operator. Um had a annual doctor check, like a, a primary care check. That's what I should say. Sorry. And one of the things that I need to be doing is taking a good multivitamin, which I still have my Smarty Pants vitamins, and I just need to take them consistently. Um, but then I also, and it does have some CoQ10 in it, but the, he said that I need to be taking a CoQ10 pill. So I grabbed these and they were on sale. And then for inflammation, I've got this turmeric here, which I've been putting turmeric on a lot of my food. Um, but I went ahead and got these pills as well. And I'm going to see how they help. And then this is for Lenny. It's a Super B complex with electrolytes. He grabbed this. I'm pretty sure all of these were on sale. Costco is the best place to buy vitamins and supplements, seriously. Now, I was looking at some other um, multivitamins just because he said it's really important that I get on a good multivitamin and stick to it. So I'm trying to figure out if the Smarty Pants are the best ones. They really are very, um, they seem very comprehensive in all the things that they provide for you supplement wise, but um, they're gummies and they're sweet. And so I worry like, are they good for me? I'm not trying to knock the brand because it seems to be a great brand. And my point is I need to research it a little bit more. Anyway, all that to say, I still have half a bottle that I need to work through. And then by this time next month, I'm sure I'll be reassessing. Okay. All right. So as I'm talking about, you know, yay, let's count the sugars. Let's be healthy. All that. <laughs> I bought this, um, which some people may see this as like a chemical. I know these are some people don't like to use fabric softeners and whatnot, but um, I have a teenager that loves them and they do make your clothes smell good. Um, but this is a flavor that I hadn't seen before. It's called Whimsical Wonder and it's got a couple of different um, colors in it of the little pellets. It smells, it smells really good. 
I had been buying the Kirkland lavender, which they, it's the Kirkland brand lavender, um, little, what are these called? In wash scent booster. They didn't have it. They haven't had them the last couple of times. So I don't know if they're going to keep carrying that or not, but I grabbed those. Pine saw, that's one of the things that my housekeeper likes to use when she's here. So I, you know, I like Fabuloso, but I don't even use it very much. Um, but I get her what she needs and what she likes. So there's that. All right. Flushable wipes. I'm a huge believer in flushable wipes. <laughs> Keep them in your bathrooms with for your kids and for yourself. So these were on sale. And believe it or not, the unit price for these was a penny, no, a tenth of a penny less than the store brand, which is not common. Usually the store brand is the cheapest, even if the name brand is on sale. So I grabbed those. Lenny and I had a long conversation about it. He's like, I really don't think, I think you should just stick to the store brand because you get 620 wipes, I think it was, opposed to this being 560 wipes. But the bottom line is this had the cheaper unit price. So it's cheaper. Anyway, it was a huge debate, not a huge debate, but a conversation. Um, in the middle of Costco. And then I grabbed the, um, this is the cherry milk. I think it's like, yeah, cherry and chai milk, uh, body wash. I am really excited to try that. Um, actually I just noticed that it has a little scratch and sniff on it. Let me see what it smells like. Oh, it smells nice. Okay. I'm excited to try that. All right. So there you go. That's it, guys. $616. This is what it's getting you these days. Until our next Costco grocery haul, we will be running into Sprouts and possibly doing some Walmart grocery orders. Um, but I'm really digging Sprouts. Their produce is fantastic. Now, I mean, let me just tell you. Let me see if I can turn this camera around. I will tell you, Sprouts, like a thing of eggs, a gallon of milk, um, and some produce, and I've spent $200, right? It is more expensive. Um, but I do think that their produce is really good quality, and it's very convenient for me to go there. So, like, again, apples, blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, all of that, uh, milk, eggs. It's pretty easy to just run in there and grab that. All right. I'm going to put this stuff away. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, let me know in the comments, what is it that you love about Costco? What are your favorite things to buy at Costco? Um, how much are you spending on groceries right now? I, it's, you know, <laughs> I think everybody's feeling it no matter how, no matter what life is like for you. I think everybody's feeling this grocery burn. I was talking to one of my um, adult kids earlier. He is 24 and he's like, you know, there are, he was looking, he was talking about how much certain jobs are paying and whatnot. And um, he had made a comment about, you know, you could go to, for example, Starbucks and be a barista. Um, and it's $14 an hour, but $14 an hour will buy you two gallons of milk. I mean, it's a little bit of an exaggeration, but pretty much, I mean, milk is like $4 a gallon right now. Um, eggs look like they're going back up. Gas is going back up. Like, it's frustrating, right? I think everybody is feeling it. Everybody is feeling it, but I don't know. I think we're all just plugging along, trying to move forward, doing the best we can, right? So let me know. I'd love to know in the comments. Looks like I hit my head on that and it's moving. Let me know in the comments, um, how much are you feeling the burn right now, the grocery burn? But I would love to know what you're spending a month on groceries. So I will probably, so this was 616. It's the core of what we're going to use for the month and or for the next month and then I will probably make I don't know two to three trips to Costco not to Costco to Sprouts for filler stuff um and I will probably spend another 500 or so dollars doing that over the course of the next month for those milk eggs 
Actually, that's where I've been getting my coffee creamer too because I've moved to almond milk coffee creamer. And, um, and I miss my half and half. I love that half and half that um, Costco has, the one that I used to always buy. It's so fantastic. But I am, I am definitely noticing a difference in how the almond milk impacts me and how dairy impacts me. So I've really been cutting out cheeses. Like I will have feta cheese. I will have goat cheese. Um, but I've just been cutting out a lot of stuff, just trying to get my stomach right um, and trying to get inflammation down. Actually, I'm fixing to go get another round of blood work done to see, um, cause that was one thing that I've been dealing with is, um, you know, the amazingness of being mid forties and menopause <laughs> and then just all the ways that it changes your body and all the ways that our body changes as we get older and how foods that didn't bother us before bother us now and impact our bodies in a negative way when they maybe didn't do that 10 years ago. So just working through it all. All right, guys, y'all have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you found this to be valuable and let me know in the comments, what do you love to get from Costco and what is your grocery budget right now? I'd love to know. I'm going to let my dogs in. Talk to you later. Bye. Trust is not so well to let us know how to grow.